One of the problems with the quantum trifecta is that the legs are quite short and quite frequently uh, the battery is larger than the space allowed. So the battery is sitting on the ground rather than the legs. So a lot of people on Thingiverse have designed longer legs. Uh, this is my version of them. Uh, the black legs that you see on the video are the original legs and the coloured legs are my various versions of uh, the extended legs. Um, the yellow ones are version 2. Version 1 never got printed. Version 3, uh, these ones. Um, the problem with version 1 is that one, the, sorry, version 2, should I say, the legs, although they fit and worked um, normally, uh, they wouldn't fold. Plus, the fact if they did fold, they would interfere with the ESCs that are underneath the legs. So I decided that I'd go on to uh, a different version where I had a kink in the leg, that kink would then go around the ESCs and uh, would allow the leg to fold. Uh, however, version 3 also didn't fold down. Um, I had assumed that version 2 um, didn't fold because I had made a mistake when I was um, doing the cutout, the little slot um, for the legs. Uh, also because I had used very simple measuring and design techniques uh, on the back of a label for uh, some props and I assumed that I'd made some mistakes there. So for version 3 I had a bigger plan. Um, I took a photograph of the legs uh, on my phone, printed it out, then took measurements of something I knew, in this case the bell housing of the motor, uh, measured it in the calipers, measured it using a ruler on the diagram and used that to work out the exact measurements. So version 3 should have been perfect and uh, I made sure that when I was doing it the cutout would allow the legs to bend 90 degrees. And it was only after I got them I realised well the legs have to bend more than 90 degrees, they have actually to move 120. So that's why I went for version 4. So you'll notice that the slots for version 4 is much deeper than the one in version 3. Other than that they're pretty much identical. There's a bit of extra reinforcing around this for the deeper slot um, and there's a little nick there so that uh, it'll click in whereas in version 3 um, it was too far recessed and uh, didn't actually notch in. So I could show you these on the trifecta. So this is the version 3. That's as far as it would bend. But it looks quite good uh, fully out. And this is the version 4 of the leg. And as you see there's a little neck there. And it folds flat. Or as flat as uh, it can do. Uh, it's actually hitting cable tie that holds the ESC on. So that's what we've got for the front legs. Back legs, um, version 2 was 2mm thick um, and it was too flexible so when the weight went on it it would actually bend. So this is the next version. It is 3mm thick plus there's a bit of a pattern on it and that pattern adds additional strength. So that's where we are. We have um, provided on Thingiverse the STLs for this version 4 front leg and this version 3 back leg was actually version 2. Um, I hope you enjoy.